Never forget that your ultimate purpose here in Kurast is to destroy Mephisto. The ancient Horodrim imprisoned the Lord of Hatred inside the Guardian Tower that is located within the temple city of Travancore. Know this, friend. The only way to gain entry to Mephisto's prison is to destroy the artifact known as the Compelling Orb. Mephisto used this device to control the Zakarum priests and their followers. The orb can only be destroyed with an ancient flail imbued with the spirit of the one incorruptible priest. Soon after his imprisonment, Mephisto worked his evil corruption on the Zakarum priesthood. All were turned to his dark ways, save one. Kalim, the Kay Hagen of the High Council. Mephisto directed the other council priests to slay and dismember Kalim, and then scatter his remains across the kingdom. The priest Sankakur succeeded Kalim as Kay Hagen, eventually becoming the embodiment of Mephisto here on the mortal plane. The corrupted High Council fashioned an orb to control the rest of the Zakarum faithful and used their powers to hide the lair of their master from mortals. Your task is to collect the scattered relics of Kalim, his heart, his brain, and his eye. Then, using the Horodric Cube, transmute Kalim's flail with his relics. Once this is accomplished, you must destroy the compelling orb with Kalim's will to open the way into the corrupt sanctum of Mephisto. So, Meshif had the golden bird all along. I wonder if he knows what he gave up for that jade figurine. Never forget, seeing his hope. Ormus remembers the tale of Kuile. That venerable sage forgot that there is no life beyond death. There is only life. Once prolonged unnaturally, it can become a living hell. The Church of Ashes of Greeley. As I told you before, I placed an enchantment upon the dark side in order to keep the demons at bay. But lately, the enchantment seems to be weakening. If memory serves me correctly, there is a holy Skatsimi blade that could revitalize the enchantment. The blade is called the Gidbin. Find it, and our sanctuary here will remain safe. As far as we know, the Gidbin is in the possession of the Children of Light. They do not wish it to fall into the hands of those who can restore its power. You may not believe it, but Ormus is the one who can use the Gidman to protect us. I must admit, your foolish quest made little sense to me. But now I see the value of your actions. I believe you do possess great wisdom. Don't let the Gidman's size fool you. Though it is only a small dagger, it holds tremendous power when in the hands of a true Skatsimi mage. Immortality is definitely not for me. Can you imagine having to wake up every night just to piss for the next thousand years? The Gidbin is one of the few remaining relics of Skatsim, the old religion. It is reputed to have great powers. Oh, 
Ormus remembers them. Ormus is familiar with the Gidrin, but how would a powerful Skatsimi artifact aid an unbeliever like you? The Gidbin will reinforce the enchantments that protect the dark side from the evil that infests Kuras. Have you not heard of the Gidwin? Well, allow me to reduce your ignorance on the subject. The Gidwin is an enchanted dagger, a religious artifact greatly valued by the old religion, Skatsin. I've done some research on the Tarn Mage Clan, and it seems that most of their magical studies were focused on Skatsimi rites. If anyone is qualified to use the powers of the Gidbin, it would be Ormus. 